hi there um i actually figured i would go ahead and film this making this tumbler i've been gotten a lot of questions people asking me what can they do how can they decorate this particular tumbler and it is the uh, bullet tumbler that i have available on my website and so i'm actually going to turn it into um lipstick or the look of lipstick should i say so i'm gonna turn it from just like the plain gold tumbler into kind of a rhinestone lipstick tumbler so i've actually already started with prepping my tumbler so i have my top here that i started painting red and then i have my bottom that i've actually used just some tape to section it off and tape around it and so I'm actually gonna do just one more layer of paint I did put on the first layer of acrylic paint and I'm just using these um, craft smart acrylic paints and black and red and I got these from Michaels and they were only maybe a couple bucks so they're really inexpensive I actually think they might even sell the acrylic paints at Dollar Tree now I think I've seen some recently so I'm just going to go over the black again and this is I am going to go over it with rhinestones I just kind of want to make sure that the rhinestones um, blend really well that that gold is hidden really good even though I'll be putting stones on top so I'm just going over to make sure the coverage is really good this tumbler and I've been saying I was going to make this tumbler for a while now and just haven't gotten around to it but now I have the time so I figured that I might as well record it to give other people ideas and you don't have I mean you don't have to have it perfect in this case I'm putting stones over it I just want to make sure that I have good coverage you can also spray paint them the tumbler if you want to or if you prefer and just get that out the way where you don't have to put multiple layers of the acrylic paint on there so whatever you prefer I'm going to leave this section gold so it'll be black gold and then the top of it will be red to give that uh, lipstick effect okay so that coverage looks pretty good to me so I'm just set that over here and let that dry and I actually just used the roll from uh, empty Cricut roll Cricut vinyl that I had and just put a piece of tissue um, or paper towel in there and then just put this on here and so same with the top I'm just making sure there's good coverage for when I put the red stones on here and you can also spray paint this as well so this will be my actual top of the lipstick I guess and I've seen a lot of people do different things with this tumbler um, I just wanted to do something to make it fun and something quick seems like to me when I'm working in layers as far as rhinestones different colors for some reason it seems to go quicker for me I'm not sure why but yeah and so I'll probably just let this sit for another um, 10 minutes and then I'll do one more final coat and then I'm going to let this dry and then with the 
black, seeing that I'm not gonna do a final coat, I'm gonna go ahead and take my tape off. And so I'm just going to fill it straight around. Just let that finish drying before I put any stones on there. Um, if your line's not perfect, that's okay because you will be putting the stones over there, but at least this gives you um, more to work with as far as your starting and stopping points in between the sections. So again, this will be black. This will, I'm gonna leave that gold with gold rhinestones and then the top will be red with red rhinestones. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this one dry so I can start putting the stones on. And then I'm going to wait about another 10 minutes for the top. And then I'll actually put a, one more layer of the acrylic paint on there and let that dry while I start working on the bottle portion of it. So I'll go ahead and pause this while I'm getting that ready and then get my rhinestones out and then I'll be back so we can bling this tumbler out together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with putting my rhinestones on the gold part of this tumbler. Now that I got the paint to dry and all that good stuff. So um, with my tumblers, I do like to work my way from the top of the tumbler down to the bottom of the tumbler. And that's just a preference of mine. And I will be using my favorite liquid fusion glue. And so I just put it into this little applicator bottle. And that way I can control it as far as how much is coming out at a time. All right, so let's get started. And so I'm gonna set my base first. Um, that's what I always like to do, just to get that foundation that I'm looking for. And this part of the tumbler, this gold part, I did not paint. This is just the color of the tumbler. So I only painted the bottom and then the, the top of the tumbler. And so what you want to do um, is get your foundation roll laid and just making sure that's straight because that's pretty much going to set the rest of your tumbler up and you want to make sure that you know it's not crooked or uneven or anything like that that will cause your tumbler to be uneven especially when you're doing layers like this and it's not a ombre type of tumbler you want to make sure that you get your layers as straight as possible just to make it look neater and so you'll have a cleaner finish sand this tumbler down and um, cleaned it with some alcohol and I did that actually before I even put the paint on so I had already prepped my tumbler and this tumbler shouldn't take too long is the I believe it's a 16 ounce 16 ounce or 18 ounce I forgot
for the gold part, I am using some glass rhinestones that I do have. And then I'm actually going to do uh, resin for the black, well, jelly resin for the black and the red part. stones available on my website for purchase as well all of the colors that I'll be using and I'll make sure to link those in the comments actually end up uh, speeding the video up or either just pause it and come back in between layers and once I have this first row on I'm going to make sure everything's even everything's straight and then I'm going to set it down probably for about 15 minutes to 30 minutes and just kind of let it harden a little bit even though liquid fusion this it takes about four to six hours for this glue to harden and a full 24 hours for it to cure so I just want to let it um, set on here before I start my next row. So nothing shifts and nothing moves when I'm starting my next row. I'm giving it a little bit of room not too much from the edge um, just to make sure the top goes on good and just making sure it's straight all around your base row will be your most important so you definitely want to get that right once you have that down, then you're good to go. And I'm actually going to grab, which I didn't, a smaller stone to go right in that space right there. Um, other than that, that looks good. So then I'm gonna go ahead and set this down and go grab my um, fill-in stone and place that there. Let this kind of uh, set for a little bit and then continue working on the gold layer. And so I'll go ahead and stop the video here and then pick it back up once I get closer to the black layer. All right, so I am at 
final stages of this tumbler, finally. And so I'm just finishing up the top. And she will be good to go. So I'm really happy the idea came together. For the top here, I am using SS16 stones or 4mm. Um, I like the look the smaller stones are giving the top. A really nice look. I had started with some red AB rhinestones and the color on the stone actually clashed with the gold. So I actually took those off and I had to do a quick repaint of the tumbler, well, of the top. And then I started with the, just the regular red resin rhinestones. But I'm really liking how this is turning out. wait to see the complete finished project. It's going to look really, really good. So, so far, so red, um, these are gold glass SS20, and these are jet black jelly rhinestones SS20s as well. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this finished up, and then leave it overnight and let it cure and it should be good to go by late tomorrow afternoon or at least um good enough good enough so normally i like to let my tumblers cure for usually a full two days especially before i would ship anything with liquid fusion, you really only need 24 hours, but I just like to add that extra day just for my peace of mind, I guess. Um, but I won't put anything additional over the stone, so no epoxy, no sealer, or anything like that. Um, once the stones have completely dried, I will go in and wash the stones with some soap and water and the inside and outside of the tumbler before packaging the tumbler up for, for shipment. So I will be back with the final product once I'm completely finished. It shouldn't take me much longer. I should be done with this in probably about, I would say, 45 minutes or so, give or take. And yeah, definitely um, ask any questions below in the comments. Let me know what you think or any ideas for any videos that you would like me to share or me to record and get uploaded. I do have a few videos in the works. Um, some stuff for making some rhinestone transfer templates, both with Cricut and Cameo. be back in a minute. 
um, go ahead and pause the video, finish putting this row of stones on, and then go ahead and knock the rest of these out. But yeah, this is absolutely turning out gorgeous. I'm really, really happy with the look so far. Right, everybody and so I'm back and this is the finished product I love how it turned out um, I let it cure overnight and still let it cure for probably um, another 10 hours or so but yeah I'm actually loving how this turned out so what started off as this tumbler is now this tumbler. So it's amazing what some rhinestones can do to a plain tumbler. If you have any questions, let just leave them below. And thanks for watching.